Okay, what we're doing now is we're going to go ahead and do the timing on this car. And the timing bypass is a single wire connector under the glove box in the cabin of the car. And you have to disconnect that before you put the timing light on the balancer to make sure that the degrees are proper. So what we have to do is let it warm up to operating temperature and then once we get it warmed up to operating temperature then we disconnect that bypass and then once we disconnect that then we put the timing light on the balancer to make sure we have the correct timing degrees. Yeah, it feels like it's getting close to operating temperature because it's getting kind of warm in here. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that the timing is set right at zero like it says on the sticker right here. That's how you time a 1995 Chevrolet Suburban 1500 with a 5.7 liter throttle body fuel injected V8.